All right, coach. Uh, good game. Competitive game. 2-2 two -two draw. You, well, you guys tried hard. Uh, take us through the game, though. First point for Jamaica. Yeah, I mean, the plan was to get something out of the game, which we did. Unfortunately, we didn't walk away with all three points, but um, still happy and proud of the way the girls performed tonight. Um, we, we created some opportunities and um, should have been a little bit more composing front of all, but um, such is the nature of the game. And i um, happy with at least coming away with a point. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, coach, first of all, a little birthday day in Facebook says it's a birthday, so happy birthday. Um, secondly, um, as you did answer the first question, um, you know, getting the first point at home. But um, did you feel like you, you, you know, could, could, if you had put away some of those chances, it, it, it created, the team created a, a number of chances that we failed to convert. Um, what does that say to you about this um, it says that we, we have some work to do. Um, I'd be more worried if we weren't creating the opportunities. That would have been more, more, more worrying. But um, it just means that we just have to be more composed in front of goal. I mean, it's, it's the first time a lot of them playing in, in, in front at home. So, I mean, of course, there's a little bit of tension. So, um, no excuses. But, I mean, we just have to be more clinical. At this level, we have to be more clinical um, in front of goal. And uh, my next question for Marlo, um, you started, you ended the game uh, with the captain's armband. Um, it's been a minute since you played for Jamaica. Um, what, was, what was it like um, being back on the park for Jamaica? Um, it's always an honor to, to be home and play for Jamaica and wear this jersey. Um, it's even a more amazing honor to end the game as a captain, so I'm very happy to be back and enjoyed my time. I know everybody's avoiding the politics, but um, was it difficult for you to come out and play given the circumstances um, surrounding the team? Uh, definitely not difficult at all. I think as a professional, any time my name is called to play for the national team, I'm more than happy to represent and uh, I love my country and it wasn't a difficult decision at all. For next, uh, for it's kind of early, but um, a point, first point. What do you see as the way forward? How do you rate our chances of getting to where we want? I mean, um, there's still some work to be done, as I said before. Um, I was um, asked to be in charge of these two games for this window, so I mean, it, it's looking um, beyond this. So, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that the, the technical staff will, will, will get some more support. And um, hopefully, all being well, we, we, we'll have all players available for our selection to ensure that got the best um, players representing Jamaica. Um, but I must give credit to all of these ladies who um, answered the call and, and, and come out and, and represent themselves well and represent Jamaica well. And we have to applaud them. Um, difficult time, difficult circumstances, um, assembling days and hours before game and, and they, they gave it their all. And that's all we can ask for when, 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 when um, they give it their all. They're proud, and I'm very proud and happy the, the way they, they executed. Coach, Coach um, you said two games in charge. How would you rate your performance over the two games as a coach? Um, I mean, I did what I could do based on the circumstances and the little times. Um, and, and to be honest, even just assembly unit um, was, was challenging. And, and um, I did my best. Um, and and so one thing with me, I, I give my best any time I'm, I'm, I'm doing a job, and I think I give my best. And now it's up to probably you now to rate my performance over the two days. Louis, how do you rate the performance? Wow. I have to say, 10 out of 10. <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> seriously, uh, I've obviously known coach for a long time for most of my career and every time I come into camp with him and he's here it's it's great the girls respect him he respects us so it's, it's good vibes in the camp Marlo with you coming out here this evening and performing the way you did any um, reservations any feelings about not being selected for the World Cup team um, no uh, it was obviously a hard summer for me but I think uh, if anything, it made me a better player. Was able to talk to my family and my close friends and my coaches over there and evaluate my game and see what I can do better. And just for me, it's it's a blessing to be back and a little bit of a reward for the hard work I put in off the field. Coach, what? Sports Max. 
Um, yeah, question for Marlon and then for Coach. Marlon, firstly, you're one of the more experienced players in the squad. What do you think that your role is, or what your role was over this period to really help some of the younger people set it? Yeah, I think I'm more of a leader by example. So just going through my daily routines and, and holding myself proper and setting an example uh, for the younger ones, whether that's uh, pre-game walk or being on time for meals or whatever the coach asks us to do. So I really think just setting a, a physical example for the younger players. And coach, you've been around the program for quite some time. You've had a lot of success in women's football, girls' football throughout the years in Jamaica. I have to ask you, after these two games, you got a taste for it. Do you think that if you were to get the call to be the permanent coach, would you take it or what, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, it, it's something that I'd have to consider. I mean, I've, I've headed that all junior levels before being head coach at 15, 17, and 20. And my first time at the, at the senior level. So, I'm, as I say, I've been around for quite some time. But it's something that I'll, I'll assess if, if, if given the opportunity. Um, but that's it for now. Um, coach, I know that um, coaches don't like to single out players, but uh, there are two players I, I would like to uh, um, ask you to comment on. Dave Richards, who obviously you know very well um, from the, the youth the school girl level, I thought she had a good game. Also, I noticed that you found Shanice Foster. So t can you tell me about those two? I mean, of course, um, Dave has been, I think she did well over both games. Um, she, she, she was um, voted player of, of the year at her, at her college in, in Texas. Um, so she's been doing well. Um, and Foster, unfortunately, had to come home from Israel because of the violence and then down, um, down there. Um, we all know her talent and her ability. Um, and she just came out and, 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 and did what she, what she has always been doing over the years. All right. Thank you very much, Coach. You're so welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.